Hello. This evening, I would like to talk to you about identifying and ideally overcoming or giving you some thoughts of how you might overcome the greatest obstacle that you're likely to face when it comes to endeavoring to teach yourself a foreign language. As you probably know, if you're here watching my video, I post a video here on YouTube every week in which people pose these kind of questions in the comments. I have a website with a question and answer page where I openly invite you to write me detailed letters describing your language learning goals and, and issues and obstacles and, and things that you'd like to achieve, and I will give you a detailed answer there. I run a virtual language academy where uh, focuses on reading literature, but we have a language learning support group where those who are teaching themselves foreign languages come together and, and I sit with them and we talk about um, the issues and problems and obstacles uh, that they face and, and endeavoring to teach themselves, in most cases, multiple foreign languages. So I am basing my generalization that I'm about to articulate that the biggest greatest, most common obstacle that you are likely to face in teaching yourself a foreign language uh, upon the input that I get from all of those sources. And that difficulty is simply doing it, getting into the systematic, regular habit of doing it. There's so many people out there who get the idea of teaching themselves a foreign language in their heads and um, remain fixated on it and think about it, maybe idealize it, maybe plan for it, and uh, maybe plot it out, think about ways of doing it, uh, talk to other people about it. Um, uh, and all of these are ways of kind of avoiding simply doing it. There are others who <clears throat> um, set out to do it and then uh, find some sort of obstacle in their comprehension of the way the language works or the, their understanding of what they're doing and they, and they get frustrated by doing it and, and then therefore they stop. Uh, there are others who say to themselves that they want to do this uh, and know that in order to teach yourself a foreign language is a substantial time commitment and so uh, want to block out a substantial time, be it a quarter of an hour, half an hour, an hour a day and try to do it and uh, tell themselves on one level that this is a very, very important thing for them to do in their lives, but also have many other things going on in their lives and are just not able ultimately to budget that. To uh, They set out to do it and, and other things come up and get in the way and it, it just doesn't happen. Um, you plan to do it and other things get in the way and it stops, it stalls out. When it comes to actually studying, of course, you can think about what materials should I be using. Some materials are better for you than others. There's so many things out there for most languages you might want to learn. Uh, thinking about and investigating what the best materials to use is, that's a great way of using up lots of time. Um, there's so many techniques, things that you could be doing, ways of studying and exploring those and investigating those and trying to find the most efficient and effective one for you. That's a great way of using up a lot of time. And these are valid things to do. Ultimately, there are things that you can do that you might end up just treading water or, or you know, uh, uh, making waves, not really doing very much. These are the other things that you might actually be learning a lot more with. And that's not to say that's not important. But compare it to the simple habit of getting in the habit and just doing it. These things are unimportant. Ultimately, if you want to teach yourself a foreign language, first and foremost, more than anything else, the quintessential thing to do is get into the habit of doing it. Or again, that, that, that phrase from the old Nike shoe commercial, just do it. How do you just do it? Well, in terms of techniques, it's that old-fashioned traditional way of getting a nice old calendar on the wall with all 30, 31 days and a nice square and crossing each one off each day that you do something. I'm sure that's, I know that that's been put on various apps where you can take that farther and, and share that with other people and get into some comparative, competitive collaboration where you let other people know what you're doing and you see what they're doing and that pushes you on. Um, you can ask 
commit yourself to your friend and your family, to friends and family telling them that you're going to be doing this and, and asking them to check up on you. So these are ways that you can do it. Um, but again, the, I think a big problem that people face is not knowing about or taking enough to heart the message of, I mean, I, I knew about it before I read James Clear's Atomic Habits, but he articulated it the best. And I made a video this past New Year, uh, 2022, about incorporating atomic habits into your language studies. Learning a foreign language, teaching yourself a foreign language, requires a huge investment of time. You do need, ultimately, if you want to really get to a high level in a foreign language, to put in an hour or more, several hours a day. But if you set out to do that at first, of course that's going to be self-defeating. That's too much at first. Conversely, if you never do anything except get your textbook out, will you have your morning cup of tea or coffee or whatever your morning routine is, you'll never get anywhere with that. But compared to not doing that, you're a huge step ahead. If you drink coffee every morning and you want to teach yourself a foreign language if you can, and you've had troubles just doing it, then yes, just start with that. Just say, when I have my cup of coffee, I will hold my textbook in my hand. When you get into that sit, set fixed habit, then say, now I'm going to open my textbook and I'm going to read a page for one minute or whatever. And you build on that. I can use the analogy of, of, of weightlifting. And there, you might want to say, I, I said that to me, I think it's necessary to study each and every single day. But maybe you want to build in a Sabbath to your habit. Or maybe you want to study every other day. Whatever systematic, regular habit works best for you, it's better than not having systematic, regular habit. When you're lifting weights... My sons lift weights, and they try to get me into lifting weights, squats, deadlifts, bench presses. The important thing is that you get the systematic regular habit of doing it every other day in that case, and then taking the weekend off, so three days a week for a language. Is that enough? I don't know. I think you need every day, but better than not doing it, better than just doing thinking about it, better than just idealizing it and talking about it, would be getting into that habit. And just as you let your muscles recuperate. And then when you go back to it, every time you do it, you strive. You don't really succeed, but you strive to add just a little bit more. Maybe 10 pounds, five pounds, maybe just one pound. Add a little bit more each time you do it. And you grow and you get into the habit. Uh, it's very, very, very parallel to learning a language. Again, to teach yourself a foreign language, to really succeed in getting to a high level in a foreign language, ultimately you're going to need to put in hours a day. But you don't start out with that. You start out with something upon which you can build. And if you've been thinking about, talking about, planning to teach yourself a foreign language, wanting to do it, and, and striving to get started, and just find yourself still pretty much at ground zero, uh, then it's time to take a good hard look at yourself and say, what can I do? What can I do to get into a systematic regular habit? And whatever it takes, just do it. I hope that was interesting and useful and helpful to you. And uh, thank you for listening. And we'll talk to you again next week. Good night.